On behalf of the McDonald Laurier Institute and IPEX, I'd like to thank my dear friend, Pete Sessions, uh, chairman of the Rules Committee, for coming up here to, uh, from Texas, of all places. My goodness, I'm sure it was a little bit warmer in Texas than it was uh, than it is here. But thank you for coming all the way to Texas to highlight the importance of the long-standing relationship between Canada and the United States. Pete, that's one of the best speeches I've ever heard. You've shown yourself to be an extraordinary friend to Canada over the 21 years that you've been in the House of Representatives. You brought us and engaged us in important issues of the day, and I want to thank you. I want you to know that uh, there are many Canadians who value your work, and that we know that with a strong America, then that's the only way we have a free world. So you're vested in your success, and I thank you so much for being vested in ours as well. Today and in the months uh, to come, the friendship will be heavily relied upon to ensure uh, our necessary trade relationship remains strong. I'm of course referring to NAFTA by name, as you did. Uh, the agreement has worked extremely well for our two countries. We do believe certainly we can improve it, certainly we can build on it. But fundamentally, really, NAFTA isn't about politics, it's about food on the table. It's, big, uh, it's about a great job on both sides of the border. It's about doing better for ourselves. Uh, and our loved ones. So, uh, you know, our company IPEX has sponsored this. Uh, uh, we are a prime example of uh, a company that does uh, uh, good business on both sides of the border. We have 2,500 employees at our seven plants in the United States and our 15 plants in Canada. Pete, I know you know this. All our raw material comes from Texas and Kentucky. And um, you take our natural gas, and you take your natural gas, and you do magic to it, you send it back to us in value-added products. And uh, we make products together on both sides of the border, not only sell to each other, but we sell to 66 other countries around the world. So I think this is a relationship that has been working very, very well. Let's work to make it better and stronger. Let's work to see how we can uh, expand our opportunities by doing that, I think we make both Canada and the United States uh, very strong. I know you know, um, Canada is America's business cu customer in the vinyl space. Uh, we have bought 18% of your product in 2017. China was the second biggest at 11%. But this is an interesting statistic. Canada's growth rate in our space was 13% last year. China's was only 8%. So we actually outgrew China with American expertise. So this is a wonderful model that we have to build on and we have to grow. If we tear up NAFTA, like some reports are talking about, it could mean as many as 1.8 million jobs lost in America. Who knows how many in Canada? We both know that our GDPs will go down. You know whose GDP will go up? China's. China's GDP will go up if we rip up NAFTA. That is certainly not the, uh, the uh, outcome we want. But Pete, I know that uh, as long as you're on the file, we'll be able to come up with some sort of a win-win solution for both Canada and the United States and we'll be stronger together moving forward in 2018. So, many folks don't know, Pete in 2013 won the Ronald Reagan Award uh, from his party for doing extraordinary work in 2010. It was uh, yeoman's, yeoman's work. I know, Pete, you love uh, the great Ronald Reagan. So I'll, I'll finish with a quote. In order uh, to, uh, to do well in the future, we have to do the right things today. And you'll see a little plastic uh, uh, inscription right in front of you where you're sitting that has that written on there. And we thank you so much for your friendship. And uh, please, we look forward to working uh, with you in the future uh, and uh, building our two great countries. Thanks again.